Today we talk about the different types of shots that you can get with your camera. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tomorrow's Filmmakers. My name is Justice McCraney, and today we're going to be talking about types of shots. Now, this isn't camera movement, this isn't camera angles or anything like that. This is different types of shots that you can get with your camera. So that whenever you guys are storyboarding, writing a script, whatever, and the scene calls for a full shot, or a medium close-up, or a master shot, you guys will know what that means. So let's talk about all those different types of shots, and then also how to put them into a scene. So first off, let's just start by showing you the different types of shots and what they're called, starting from really far away and getting really close. So the first shot is called an extreme wide shot, and this isn't just kind of wide, this is really, really wide. This could be used to establish a location, you know, show that he's on a battlefield, show where our character is in relation to somebody else. This is a really, really wide shot. And the next shot is just a wide shot. So we had an extreme wide shot, now we're at a wide shot, which is a little bit closer than the extreme wide shot, but it's not just seeing his full body. You're seeing a lot more than that because it's still really wide. The next shot is called a full shot, and this is a little bit closer, but you can still see our entire character's body. You can see from his toes all the way to his head, like a full body shot. That's why it's called a full shot. After the full shot, we have the medium full shot, which is a little bit closer. You can see about knees up on our subject. Then you have the medium shot, which is gonna be one half of our subject. So it's gonna be the hips up. You'll be able to see one half of our subject. Then you're gonna have a medium close up to our subject. And that's gonna be a little bit closer than a medium shot, but it's not gonna be a close up. It's gonna be a medium close up. So it's gonna be in between. So it's gonna be about chest up on our subject. And after the medium close up, we cut to a close up, which is just going to be our subject's head. His entire head, from the neck to the top of his head. And after the close-up, we punch in even farther to have an extreme close-up. And this is gonna be focusing on one aspect of our character's face. In this instance, we're focusing on his eyes. That would be an extreme close-up. If we wanted to focus on his mouth, or his hair, or his nose, or a scratch on his face, or whatever you wanna focus on, that would be an extreme close-up. It's not showing his full head, you're punching in even more to focus on one area of his face, or an object or a situation or a person or something like that. That's why I did that. I said, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here. <laughs> <laughs> so just an overview, if you're standing back really far and looking at a person and you start cutting in, you're first gonna have an extreme wide shot, a wide shot, a full shot, a medium full shot, a medium shot, a medium close up, a close up, and then an extreme close up. So I know that it's pretty simple and kind of just like, okay, I got that, but I want you guys to understand what they're called so that if you're writing your script and you say, hey, I want the camera to go from a medium full shot to a close up, you'll know exactly what that means. That means medium full shot that's going to be from knees up to a close up, just his head. And to go along with that, we also have a couple more shots. One is called a cut in, and this would be cutting into a closer shot of what our subject is looking at. In this case, it's his phone. So we're at his face, he looks down, then we cut in to what he's looking at, his phone. If he has something in his hand, if he's looking at something on the ground, you're cutting in closer to what our subject is looking at. That's called a cut in. If he was looking at something else, we wouldn't zoom out and look at that. That would be called a cut away, which is the next shot. Now this is if the actor looks over and sees something, we cut away to see what our actor is looking at. So a cut in is whenever we come closer to what the subject is looking at. A cut away is when the subject looks away from the screen. We cut away from our subject to see what he's looking at. So the final shot is called a POV shot or a point of view shot. And this is a really cool shot. This is like looking through the character's eyes and seeing the scene from his perspective. Now this doesn't mean it's like a GoPro fish eye look, you know, where you can see everything like peripheral vision, no that would just look really strange. This could be zoomed in, it could be wide, it could be any way you want it to be, but it's just looking from our character's perspective and through his eyes of what he's seeing. Keep going. 
Well, that's not usable. So that's like the different types of shots with one person, you know, zooming in, cut away, cut in, point of view. But also if there's two people, we first have something called a double, which means that this shows both the people in the frame, you know, you can see where they are, you can kind of see that they're looking at each other. From a double, we might cut to an over the shoulder shot which means it's looking over the shoulder of one subject onto the face of the other, you know, to show that they're in a conversation, to show that they're engaged in the conversation with each other. From an over the shoulder shot, we might cut to a single, which means it's still focusing on one character and they're still in that conversation, but you're not seeing the other character's shoulder on the side of the frame. Maybe you want to cut in closer because it's an intense moment or something like that. And from that, we could cut to a close over the shoulder, which means that it's the same shot, it's just a little bit tighter and a little bit more zoomed in, maybe to give an effect of suspense or something's about to happen. So now that we understand the different types of shots, you know, with one person, with two people, cut-ins, cutaways, over the shoulder, all those different types of shots, there's two shots that you definitely need to know because they're very important to help your audience understand the scene. The first shot is called an establishing shot. Now, an establishing shot establishes where your characters are, where they're going. You know, it's a wider shot of your two characters talking so you know where they're at. Now, an establishing shot doesn't actually have to show people. It can just show a building, show a carnival to show that they went to a carnival. You know, if your character says, hey, let's go to a carnival, and the next scene is a close-up of their face at a carnival, you're like, wait, where are they at exactly? But you first show a wide shot of the carnival to show that, hey, they're at the carnival now, and then you can start cutting in closer. An establishing shot can show people to show where they are in, in their location, or it can just show a house to show that, hey, the characters are inside the house, we're about to go into the house, and they can start talking. So an establishing shot shows where your characters are, where they're going, so it doesn't confuse your audience. Now the next shot is called a master shot. And the master shot is very important because it shows the geography and where each character is in relation to the other character. It's kind of like a double, like we talked about before. It shows where the two characters are in relation to each other. One might be sitting down, one might be standing, one might come around the corner, one might be in the kitchen while the other's in the living room. You want to show where they are before you start cutting in close to their faces. Because if you don't really know where they are, then one could be talking and the other could be talking and it's just close-ups, but you don't realize that they're on opposite ends of the house. But first we do a master shot to show where they are in relation to each other, then we can start cutting in closer. So an establishing shot shows where the characters are going, where they're headed, what building they're in, if they're outside, but then a master shot shows where they are in relation to each other, then you can start cutting in closer. So before you start a scene, before you start a dialogue scene, first you want to establish where the characters are. Okay, they're in this huge building. Then you want to cut to a master shot to show, okay, they're sitting here, one's on this side, one's on this side. Then from then, then from then, then from then. That's not right. Then you can drop the master shot and start cutting in to over the shoulder shots, tight close-ups, singles, whatever way you want to tell your story. But first you have to let the audience know where your characters are. So now that you guys understand like the different types of shots, from one person to two people to establishing shots to master shots, I want to show you guys what those shots look like in an actual scene.
So as you can see, different types of shots have different names, they're used for different purposes, they're used for different reasons. So I hope this video has really helped you out on understanding these types of shots. So whenever you're storyboarding, writing a script, whatever it is, you know what they're called. Hey, we're gonna do an establishing shot, then we're gonna cut to a close up, then we're gonna cut to a medium full shot, and you'll know what those mean. So go get your brothers and sisters and friends and start practicing all of these shots with establishing shots, master shots, over the shoulder shots, try all these different types of shots and see if you can create a scene like we did. So head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have videos just like this that we're putting out constantly to help further you as you further God's kingdom through film and I will see you guys there.